Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Cauliflower, that is the gobi, is such a versatile vegetable. I've done so many dishes using the cauliflower. I'll give a couple of links in the description. You can check it out. And today I'm going to share another wonderful recipe. This is gobi 65. It's a wonderful starter. So let's get started and check it out. For the gobi 65, I've taken two medium sized cauliflowers. Cut them into small florets and keep them aside. So we're going to blanch the cauliflowers. Take a nice pot, add enough water for blanching. Add a little salt. Gently drop in the cauliflowers into the hot water. Blanch for about 3 to 4 minutes. Turn off the stove, strain it and keep it aside. Next, I'm going to make the batter for the gobi 65. For this, to a bowl, add quarter cup of gram flour or basin, half cup corn flour, 2 tablespoons rice flour. So rice flour is optional. If you add rice flour, it gives you a nice exterior crunch. If you don't have rice flour, you can also do it without that. Next, add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder, one teaspoon ginger garlic paste. Add a little water and mix everything together. So gradually pour water to get a nice batter consistency. Mix everything together till it's all well blended. Next, take a kadai, pour enough oil for deep frying. The batter shouldn't be too thick or too runny. Just make sure it's just right so it coats the cauliflowers. Deep fry them till you get a nice golden brown colour. So remove from the hot oil and keep it aside. Next to a pan, add a little oil, just about a teaspoon, add two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Two tablespoons chilli sauce, one teaspoon soy sauce, add one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. This is to give you a nice rich colour. Just mix all the sauces. Now add the fried cauliflowers. Toss it all in. Finally, finish it off by adding some fried curry leaves and green chilies. Toss everything together till it's all well combined. You can see the sauces have coated the cauliflowers beautifully. So your gobi 65 is done. Serve it hot immediately. So there you go, here is a delicious gobi 65 that makes for a perfect starter or an evening snack. Make sure the cauliflower is nice and fresh and follow all the proper steps to get this nice and crispy. So do try the recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends.